if I don't drink with, if I don't film with coffee, I like, I think it's a mental thing, but I have no personality. I'm like, hey guys, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> my channel. This is my YouTube channel, like, I don't know. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be filming a video that's like kind of been requested. I get a lot of questions about it, but I'm going to be showing you guys my top five favorite books ever. These books are like themed to self-help. Almost, I know that I'm 19, I'm not 40, but it's okay. Kind of like being a girl boss, being productive, getting your stuff done, also living a very positive lifestyle. These are five books that have made really big impacts in my life. I talk about reading a lot on my channel, and a lot of you guys ask me my favorite books and book recommendations, so I thought I'd make an entire video just talking about them. I'm gonna have every book linked down below. I really, really hope that you guys read at least one of these or something and we can talk about it. So if you guys do pick it up, please like tweet me a picture or tell me how you guys liked it after you read it because I promise you it's not a waste of time to read these books. They're all really good. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you guys can be notified for what I'm posting. Also leave some video requests down below if you guys like these kind of videos. I really like reading books that are entertaining and not boring or monotone so like when you think self-help books these people have personalities in them and they're really funny so i'm not going to recommend books that are boring trust me i promise i'm not a boring person you know all right the first book is probably not going to come to a surprise to you guys if you have watched any of my videos before it is girl boss i love this book this is the book that really has probably made the biggest impact on me as far as like being a girl boss or like working or like an entrepreneurial that I said that's so weird entrepreneur lifestyle mindset I don't know it's really really good it's written by Sophia Maruso she was the founder and CEO of Nasty Y'all but now she has like this whole girl boss thing and girl boss was also just made into a Netflix series that was based off of this book this book is amazing it's really funny it basically tells you all about her like life from when she started prior to her eBay store to making it nasty gal like what it was and it's really funny it gives you really really good tips and it's just really empowering especially as a girl so this book is amazing and she's also really really funny and just really cool I love her so I would definitely recommend this one the next book I have is the only book in that kind of like area of books that kind of genre that compares to girl boss for me it might I like this book for different reasons than I like Girl Boss, I think, but it's Lily Singh's How to Be a Boss book. This book is so good. I know some people are turned off to like YouTuber books, which is honestly stupid in my opinion, but this is not just like a YouTuber book. I honestly recommend this to anyone. It doesn't even matter if you're a fan of Lily, which you should be because she's awesome, but it is so good. It's packed with so much information and so many tips. It's a long read, but it's really, really entertaining. It's a, it's a longer read. It's not like super long. It's so entertaining. The colors, everything, the tips. You, I learned so much reading this book and it's just, it's really, really good. So definitely recommend checking this one out as well. Obviously recommend them all to you. And the next book I have is You Are a Badass. It's how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. I really like this book as well. Um, I definitely like Girl Boss and How to Be a Boss better, but this one is also good if you've already read those. It's basically just like really encouraging and it also kind of tells you to like get off your butt. It covers like so many things. I don't even really even know where to start, but it's definitely a really good read and it made my top five list and I read all the time. So check it out. Next two books I have are definitely more lifestyle and more like positive thinking and your mind, your soul, all of that stuff. The first book I have is Did I Ever Wake Up by Maud Sun. Maud Sun is a musician, if you guys didn't know, but he made this book or he wrote this book. It's a step-by-step -step guide on how to make your life a dream. This book is so good and it really is what kind of got me onto the mindset of positive thinking. I'm not as good as I once was right after reading this book, but when I really need it, I'll go back and I'll read it again. It is so good. It is such a quick read. This book has gone through so many of my friends. I read this my sophomore year of high school and I'm a freshman in college and so many of my friends have read this. There is one chapter in here on depression and anxiety that I don't agree with, but other than that, it is really, 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 really good. And if you guys are in a slump or just like really down or anything, I definitely recommend reading this book because that definitely got me out of one. How many times can I say definitely? I'm really sorry. Now I have a book that is my favorite book probably ever. My friend Joe recommended this to me and it is 
so good so it's called when god winks at you and it's basically just talking about how like coincidences aren't real it's cool because it has a lot of people in this book like oprah i think is in this book at some point i don't remember but a lot of people like celebrities and stuff it talks about their stories and it talks about just like different workplaces and how it's all kind of come together um, this is a really good book to read with Maud Sun's book because they both talk about the law of attraction. This one definitely adds to the law of attraction and I think this is a much more beneficial way of doing that. But it does talk about law of attraction and it's really, really good. Really, how many times do I say really good or definitely get it or whatever. I'm really bad at describing things, guys. It's one, it's changed my perspective, but it's also made me realize why things have happened or like things going together. And it's kind of like giving me better direction in life, I guess. I don't know. Really good. I'll definitely have that one linked down below as well. Okay, so that is it for my video today. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys want to see any more books like themed in some other way, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not already, and I'll see you soon. Bye!